All right, on the line right now, pretty excited. He's coming to the Turning Stone Resort and Casino. Second place finisher in 2003 on Last Comic Standing, the one and only Ralphie May. Good morning. How are you, Bill? How are you? How are you doing, man? Thanks for uh, calling in this morning. Are you kidding me? Thank you for having me. I uh, And maybe your listeners don't know, I was supposed to call yesterday, but I was stuck in security lines in Florida because some dirty sons of bitches on the other side of the world uh, blew some folks up. So that so you were you were in uh, it caused I delays. I was flying yesterday. Oh uh, yeah, that was terrible, wasn't it? In well, Brussels. it's terrible every time they do it, I right? Know. Because they hate people rather than more than they love their own babies. I know. It's okay, unbelievable. that's why they all do uh, cowardly acts such as blowing themselves up just to just to kill other people. I mean, that's just weak. You know, I'm, I'm from a I'm from a land where you you don't like a person, you take it to them. Yeah. You know, you lay a beating on them, but they're alive and you're alive, and you didn't kill no children or no babies. They're cowards. You're yeah, absolutely bitches. right. I've been in 19 war zones and uh, over my 26 years of stand-up comedy and 44 forward operating bases, and I went unarmed, and I'm still talking to you today. And uh, and if they think they're helping out Islam, they ain't, Jack. Trust me. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it ain't. It ain't. I all know. you're going to do is allow the crazy to come out, all right? And they're wanting to even circumvent our own constitution because they're afraid. I ain't afraid. I swear to God, <laughs> I saw some guys start yelling oh. Allah Akbar, okay, with a with a uh, with so much as a uh, a baby cell phone in his hand. Yeah. I'm jumping on top of him, okay, and everybody else would be like, man, that fat guy was cool. All right? <laughs> get hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'll kill a son of a bitch. Man style. All right? Or maybe he's like a dirty Palestinian over there in Israel where they're stabbing everybody. I know you that's terrible, me? too. You can whittle on me all day long, not hit nothing important. <laughs> but while you put your knife in me, I'll grab it and take it and stab you in your neck. Yeah. All You're right? going to hit I'm it, I'm not afraid at all. Yeah. I'm a man. All right? And that's why I drink Budweiser beer. Okay? <laughs> if I was at out a bar and one of these guys came in, I have a weapon. I drink long necks. I'd slap that thing against the bottle and stab you in the neck bone. You know? But you see all these hipsters over there drinking their craft beer with fruit. You know? What are you going to do? Throw that orange pill down out of that blue moon and hope he slips? I mean, Lord Jesus. Let's get it together. Oh, oh, maybe Marty. citrus in the eye. That uh, could do something. Ralphie May is coming to the Turning Stone Resort and Casino in the uh, showroom <laughs> on Thursday. Next That's week, March, right. March 31st at 8 p.m. It's going to be a great show and tickets are available. Last time I was at the Turning Stone, this is funny. I had my money in a, in a slot machine, and then I, hit, I got, my chair got hit. And then it got re-hit and re-hit. And I turned... And uh, it was a little old lady, okay, looking like my great granny, okay, uh, smoking a Capri 120, okay, and uh, she she was like, uh, that's my machine, get off my machine, all right, <laughs> and I'm like, look, lady, uh, you can't bully me, you weren't here, all right, so don't make me... Uh, 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 unplug that uh, that scooter of yours, or <laughs> take that O2 line and put a pinch in it, and turn you as blue as your hair. Right? <laughs> right? They're serious. Oh They're yeah, serious man. They are. Them old people are serious. Don't be careful. Ask everybody if you want to play a slot machine over there at Turning Stone, because you'll get punked out by a ninety-year-old. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It it is serious business there. You got to be careful. Hey, listen, I, I find, uh, you know, uh, two comedians, uh, your your wife, a comedian, ex-wife, a comedian, and uh, you. Ex-wife, a, thank a, you very much. I'm sorry <laughs> to say that. I, I hey, that, 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 that ex part, yeah. uh, it means stands for ten times the money. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, she's a very nice lady with a nice house in the Hollywood Hills. If anybody's single out there. I'd show you where it is, but I gotta stay 500 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. um, no worries at all. Listen, you named your children April, June, May, and August, yes. James, May. I love it. You, we yes. must want them to be comedians. No, no, not at all. I hope not. I mean, yeah. we we raise them, and they're smart as whips, and they love school, and they read all the time. So hopefully we 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 uh, you know this this laziness 
you know, manufactured into a profession called com- comedy does not affect our children, and they go be lawyers or doctors and and, and live a responsible life. You know, maybe yeah, they don't have to go through the drama that we did. And and uh, the other thing I want to ask you about is, is Donald Trump. What are your thoughts? He is buffaloed again. Just like in, I, I'm a I'm a child of the South, okay, yeah. and we went to war 150 years ago. Uh, regular hardworking people went to war and died, okay, for rich people to protect their income and their way of life, okay. People with nothing had, were forced to pick up a gun, yep. and now another rich, spoiled old man, okay, that tweets, okay, <laughs> I, I can't elect a president. That is on Twitter more than a girl, okay, more than a fourteen-year-old girl. <laughs> that is right? funny. That to me is is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, and and why Twitter makes news baffles me. Okay, but uh, all this hatred and all this bile that he spits, okay, is uh, is coming from a billionaire. All right, I if you've got more in touch with, a, I mean, you got stuff in common with a billionaire. And God bless you, all right? I don't. I don't. And I'm not afraid of Mexicans, and I'm not afraid of ISIS, all right? And I'm not afraid of the Chinese. I'm not afraid of nobody because I'm American, all right? And I'm a man. And and his slogan I find amazingly condescending. We're going to make America great. You know what? America made you great, all right? Won't you hush? And everybody's dazzled because he got a, he's a billionaire, all right? And he says he borrowed a, a small loan of a million dollars from his daddy. But what he doesn't say is when he dad, his daddy passed, he left him $1.2 billion and 17 skyscrapers in Manhattan. You know how easy it is to uh, be a billionaire when your daddy leaves you $1.2 billion and 17 skyscrapers Man. in Manhattan? You sit on your ass. And you don't do nothing, all right? And I don't like him, and I don't like his son neither, all right? I punked his son out on Twitter, too, all right? Because he shot an elephant in Tanzania, and I don't find that respectable. As a man who used to have to hunt and kill animals to eat, yeah. okay, when I was a child in Arkansas, all right? I mean, does he have, you know, 11 deep freezes full of elephant steaks? Yeah. No. Yeah. So he let that animal rot, and he shot and killed it just for the glory, his glory, okay, of saying he killed an elephant. You know what? I find that amazingly, amazingly disrespectful to nature, especially an animal that scientists tell us will be extinct in 30 years. Yeah. You know what? You, you just robbed uh, my children are seeing that bull elephant, and I, I take that personal. Hey, and, I, and you, you flew over first class, and you had air conditioned truck take you out there, and then you jumped out and just pulled a trigger, and that's that's what you called hunting. Okay, now I don't I don't respect it. I don't respect it. I think uh, people are gonna be. Uh, 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 you are in for a treat at the uh, at the Turning Stone with Ralphie May. Uh, I know because I'm having to be censored and and soft oh, now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just oh. Wait yeah. Till you get the full heat. Yeah. We, okay. And I got something to say about them all. I don't like that creep Ted Cruz either. <laughs> he looks he looks a little just a touch creepy. He looks like a he looks like a villain from a Willy Wonka movie. Okay. All right. I don't like him. All right. I and and Bernie. Oh my God. I. I I I don't know how we could afford what Bernie wants to do. I, yeah, I don't I know. know. I'm a businessman, all right? And as a man that just got out of a relationship, okay, of 17 years, the last thing I want to do is have another woman tell me what to do if she's president. <laughs> all right, the only gangster thing is, is I know that if Hillary gets in the White House and then the the uh, Mr. President Bill Clinton has to go in there. Her first day in the Oval Office, she's going to make his geriatric ass climb under that desk and go, hey, I'm the president now. Okay, I'm going to make calls. You're going to take care of mama. I mean, I'm going to keep my head down. But i got to be honest with you. Uh, this might be the sorriest batch of candidates we've ever come across. Oh, I know. It's terrible. And, and, and I think it is in my lifetime, all right? But, uh, hey, what do I know? I'm just a fat guy that tells jokes. It's uh, Ralphie May, Turning Stone Resort and Casino in the Showroom, next Thursday night, uh, March 31st at 8 p.m. Ralphie, thank you. You're on fire this morning, and thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Hey, 
I love you boys. Y'all be well, okay? Thanks, we'll, Bill. We'll be out to see you. Thanks so much. All right, man. No All problem, right. buddy. All Bye, right. you, pal. All right. That's uh, Turning Stone next Thursday night, 8 o'clock. It's going to be a uh, really, really amazing show. Got a break. Hold tight. It's WIBX.